This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, I'm going to talk about some of the best features of Elementor Pro. And then you can find if it's worth buying the Pro version. By the way, if you're interested in buying Elementor Pro or learn Elementor, you will find the link to Elementor website and our Elementor tutorial series linked in the description. So let's get started. The first one is obviously a no brainer. It's all the pro elements that are available in the pro version. There are just so many elements compared to the free version, which I personally find myself using a lot of times. There's just so many useful elements that you definitely want in your website. Forms is one of those elements I use every time. That way, I don't have to install a separate Forms plugin, buy that plugin's pro version to get all the tools that I need, and trying to spend hours trying to get it to work with other elements and email marketing softwares. There is also nav menu, video carousel, social share buttons. You can even integrate your own Facebook into your website. There's also animated headlines and lottie animations to add some spice and creativity to your website. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. There are also several useful elements for WooCommerce website, which is one of the main reasons why Elementor Pro is really worthwhile for shop website owners. I recently used these elements to create my own custom product page, which isn't possible to do without Elementor Pro. If you are interested in knowing how to make custom product page, I'll link that video in the description. The second feature of the Elementor Pro that I like is the huge template library that it provides to Pro users. The designs in that are classy and really well made. Like you can import blocks, elements, pages and even entire websites. Like for example, if I want to make a portfolio website, no problemo. Just head over to templates, click on kit library, search for portfolio. Filter to Pro Kits and select on your favorite design. And then just click apply. And just like that, you are the owner of this amazing template. And every day people are working on newer elements and template kits, so you can be sure you will always find a template that fulfills modern standards and your design thinking. Another small but really handy feature would be custom breakpoints. Custom breakpoints allow you to make responsive website for several screen sizes other than the three usual breakpoints of mobile, desktop, and tablet. 
If you want to make your website look the best in every device view and trust me there are a lot of device these days custom breakpoints is a must have since there is no plugin available in WordPress that provides such seamless functionality Okay this is hands down one of my favorite features in Elementor Pro which is motion effects this is the best feature that i regularly use while making websites animation add a bit of spice to a website we already know that there are so many effects that you can add to your website that are not available in the free version you can add scroll effects and mouse effects Just take a look what motion effects can do to a plain looking website. Another honorable mention would definitely be the ability to add dynamic content while creating page templates. Dynamic content lets you take content somewhere on your WordPress website and automatically insert it to your elementor design if you use elementor theme builder dynamic content will play an essential role in helping you create your own theme templates like for example when you're creating a custom product page and you don't want the image gallery on the bottom but only the featured image you can just add image element set the image chosen to dynamic image by clicking here and then selecting featured image and this setting will apply to your all products now i hope you get a little bit idea how element of pro works and its use cases thank you for watching this video like if you find this video useful and subscribe thank you